Positivity is no way better for you than negativity. Well, if that doesn't make sense to you, you want to hang around and find out exactly why that's true. You see, it's all about you and your point of view. Everything in life is really all about you and your point of view. When you look at life, do you see the struggle or do you see the strife? Do you see the sun shine? Do you see it's bright? And even in the darkness, do you see the light? Do you see that everything's all right? Because it is. No matter what is going on, it's your choice to wear a smile. It's your choice to eliminate the frown because it's all about you and your point of view. Hey, everything in life is really all about you. You see, positive words they're just words and they're not something that has anything to do with a belief system that you're actually acting on i'm an artist sometimes i use real gold leaf in a painting okay so i have some gold on that canvas but it's still just a canvas with gold painted on it. And that's what positive thinking is. It's just some words without the actions to back them up. What makes the difference is what you believe. The actions, not the thoughts, not the words, not the I'm going to, the actions that you take that create your world. Now, you may have noticed my voice isn't really clear today. I didn't know that until I started talking. I didn't know my singing voice wasn't there. But I'm here anyway because this message is really important. And I want to be sure you get it. There was a study done, uh, a medical double-blind study, about the use of penicillin to eradicate pneumonia. 65% of the people in that study believed that the penicillin would, in fact, get rid of their pneumonia. And it did for those 65%. Well, what about the other 35%? Well, the other 35% did not believe that the penicillin would get rid of the pneumonia, and guess what? Right, it didn't. They were still sick. It's not what you think about, it's what you act on in one really strong way of seeing how you act in your life is, and I'll put the link in it for you <laughs> instead of trying to sing another song at this moment. We put people in the boxes. They do the same to us. What do I mean by that? We have a set picture of how a person behaves, a set picture of the behaviors for which it's possible for them to behave in only that realm of behaviors and a set of behaviors that there's no way those people are capable of doing. Is there truth to that? Of course not. But that's how someone lives when they're not living consciously, when they're not living in their be leaves. I think it was William James who said, as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. 
or Abraham Lincoln, who said, you're as happy as you think yourself to be. But it isn't what you're thinking up here, because thinking's not acting on it. It's what's going on down in your heart, where you're adding the emotion to it that's creating your belief, your whole belief about everything in life. How many times have you embarked on a new adventure and you had all these plans laid out that you shared and I'm going to do this and I'm going to accomplish that. And here's my deadline date, very popular in business, right? Only they were just words. They were just, I'm going to. They were not actions. It's actions that make your real world. And right now, wherever you are, however you're thinking, however your world looks, you created it by the thoughts to which you put powerful feelings yesterday and the day before and the day before. Do you spend your life in the now? The only time you can do things is now. The only time you can plan your future is now, because it's the only time that really exists. I'm going to take a quick break right now for my sponsor break, which is Enjoy Life. Enjoy Life is my private practice. It's I work solely and only with energy. And one thing you may notice, this is one of the big helpers. It's a patch that wakes up your body to its own power. Your body has far more wisdom than you can ever have. Do you know that the 90% of the little bugs, the cells in your body, there are things like viruses and fungus, and they're single cell things. And they have incredible wisdom and they work together. I'm talking about the trillion over all cells in your body Only 10,000 of them are human. And the other 990,000 of them are actually all these little cells. They work together. If one system is having a problem, the other system goes in and helps them out, corrects what's going on. Well, that's, of course, you want to know how to create healthy cells in your body. That's a talk for another time. But the point is, your body has its wisdom. And when I work on somebody, their body, their spirit tells me what's going on out of awareness. So if you want to know more about why you don't get better, no many, how many doctors or alternative people or other energy workers you see, you're not getting the results you want, just contact me and that link is in the show notes. Going back to why positive thinking can't get you any place better than or different from negative thinking. Yeah, in negative thinking, you're only seeing the negativity and you're spending your life probably in your past and in your future, but not in the now, the only time that you can actually make a change. The positive thinking is just words. It's just words until you lay out the very specific actions that you can take. And all of it comes down to what do you believe? Your belief systems run your life. I've recommended his work before, Claude Bristol, The Magic of Believing, and you can get it 
in a double volume at Audible with his short book, TNT, Rocks the Earth. And the link for that is in the show notes. Also, it's what you believe that you act on. It's not what you think about. It's what you believe that made your world look the way it's looking right now. When I was attacked and I had a really nasty brain injury and I was in the rehab center and I was telling the psychologist, you know, I believe that everything happens perfectly and I know I'm going to get better, even though the 16 doctors on my medical team said, no, can't get better. Learn to live with it. I didn't believe them. I believed, and I knew in my heart I was going to get better to the point, okay, so here's where I took the action. I started a newsletter. This was back in 1997, and my newsletter was called Getting Un stuck. It's kind of new to have a newsletter back then. It took everything I had to be able to do it. And when I shared that with a psychologist in the rehab center, he said to me, the only people that he saw recover from the brain injury were the people who saw the gift. One thing I learned that became immediately obvious to me after the first brain injury, what goes along with belief is words are you choosing in your vocabulary. And when you're looking to make friends or colleagues, what words are they choosing to do? I have a, a list that I have been writing over the years since way back in 1996. And what do you think is the number one word there? It's the word try. If I'm looking for somebody to help me out with something and they said, I'll try, I know to call somebody else. Try is a word that people use to make them think and make you think they're actually taking action to do something about it. They're not, and they have no intention of doing so. So when somebody tells you, I'll try, you go on to the next person. The next most used words are, I'll do my best. Again, go on to the next person because they, <laughs> they're not going to do their best. If they're going to do it, they're going to do it. And if they're not going to do it, they're not going to do it. They're not even going to try. And have you ever asked someone to do something for you or somebody asked you to do something for them and you did less than your best effort? Well, those aren't the kind of people who are going to be part of my world. And you probably don't really want them to be part of your world because I'll do my best is another no action work. And what those are, are there word selections to feel like they're honoring your request. And you might even be thinking, well, they really are, or they really did their best, even though they didn't succeed. And it's just, uh, I don't know if camouflage is the word, I guess it is. It's a way to hide their true intentions, or maybe we should say lack of intentions. So watch your word choice and the word choice of the people in your world. What I'm going to do for you this week is find that list. I have so many places that I could have hidden it. I will look for it and I will find it. I'm not going to try. I will find it. And I'll have a link for you to be able to download it this week. So what happens in your world? What do you believe? What do you look for when bad things happen in everybody's life? You know, 
Sometimes people get sick or hurt or they lose a job or they don't get the job that they really wanted or they move away or their best friend or their family moves away. Bad things happen in everyone's life. But some people go on and they thrive and other people spend their life hurting. Well, who's creating that hurt? They are by their choice of where they're focusing and what they're choosing to believe. And I'm not saying you got to go spend your whole day telling yourself what you believe. All you have to do is have an image of it and then let it go. Because you're sending the message through your entire body, mind, spirit. And because you're sending it from your heart, it's also going to the universe, which will come back to you and create and show you exactly how to create because it'll do it for you when you know what you want. You don't have to know how to get it. The universe will make all the coincidences happen that get you where you desire to live. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I am Reverend Ellie Bierman, and this is Let's Get Metaphysical, Connecting Heart and Mind. Remember to join our Facebook group where you can ask a question, make a new friend, get some extras that I put in there. And you can always go to the show webpage. Well, the website, I'm sure there are lots of pages there. Because every one of our episodes, and it's well over 100 episodes now, you can either watch or listen to each one. That's the right one for you at the moment. Because the only time something's going to impact you is when you're ready for it. And that's why all the topics are available for you to choose. Audible offers you a free download of an Audible book with a free 30-day trial. We'll look around. There's so much in there. Incredible podcasts you won't find elsewhere. Magazines, courses. Go ahead and take advantage of it. Use my link to get in there. And if for any reason, after that 30-day trial, you don't want to keep going, you still get to keep the audiobook, which this month I'm recommending Claude Bristol's double volume, The Magic of Believing, and TNT, It Rocks the Earth. When you join our community, I get to meet you every month on a live video call, and I appreciate your supporting us. And if you got something today, Please share it with two of your friends. I look forward to being here with you next time. And remember to enjoy. That's capital I-N, capital J-O-Y, every moment. Because nothing in your life ever happens outside of you. It all happens within.